Just as early explorers had to endure weather as they traveled to new lands and explored new areas, astronauts, when they go on space travel outside the Earth's magnetic field, will have to endure space weather. This space weather would include things like galactic cosmic rays, which are remnants from supernova, uh, and also solar storms, which include things like solar particle events and coronal mass ejections. So as astronauts are traveling to Mars, they're going to be enduring the space weather, and it's harmful to the body in a couple different ways. There's an in-flight risk from things like solar storms, and those really present acute radiation sickness type issues that would have to be dealt with operationally in real time. And then there's also long-term late effects like cancer, cardiovascular disease, and possible central nervous system effects. And those are more possibly late-term effects that would come into play after the mission. So just like the early explorers, NASA's mission is to bring all of the astronauts home safely. And to do that, we're investing and in looking into these shield design strategies that include ways that mitigate exposure from all forms of space weather. So we look at habitat design and, and overall vehicle optimization to reduce the in-flight risk from solar storms. But then we're also looking at material design uh, and other vehicle optimization strategies to reduce the risk from uh, long-term exposure to galactic cosmic rays.